Yo, what is up guys? What is going on? Zach or Immortal here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again. Today, we are going to be talking about Call of Duty World War 2's multiplayer reveal trailer. Everything that you guys might have missed in this few minute long trailer. There's a lot of stuff that goes down in this trailer. Tons of really, really cool stuff to look into and to dissect. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Drop a like on this video if you guys want a chance to win a World War 2 beta code that'll drop later this year. Or if you guys are just hype for World War II multiplayer in general. Now let's go ahead and look into these things that you guys might have missed in the official Call of Duty World War II multiplayer reveal trailer. All of these images are taken directly from the reveal trailer, so feel free to search throughout it yourself to find the exact things that I mention in this video. The first image reveals two potential things. Either there are going to be mounted machine guns on specific maps, or you're going to be able to use a bipod on specific weapons. You can see in this image, this LMG is standing on a bipod propped up on a ledge. Here you can see what looks like to be some sort of hammer or axe on the left shoulder of this soldier, meaning melee weapons are most likely returning. This image further proves the amount of machine gun and or bipod attachment argument, just figured I'd throw it in there for good measure. The clip that this image is featured from shows a soldier lying on the ground screaming in pain. He's obviously not dead, which means some sort of last stand or final stand perk just might be in the game. Bayonets are in the game as are flamethrowers. However, the flamethrower seems to be a kill streak of some sort as this player took it out after using his bayonet on what I'd assume to be a primary weapon. It's unlikely that a flamethrower would be allowed on the same class as a primary weapon unless of course there's some sort of special category as a secondary. Woo! More bipods. Scavengers returning. I hope you aren't too emotionally connected to your limbs. Players will use a parachute in some way or another potentially to spawn in after a death or for spawning into the match for the first time. Dynamic maps are returning. These books are getting blown off the shelves as bullets are hitting nearby. Planes are a thing. This one though has quite a bad pilot because he's about to hit a tower. These boots have a strong emotional and physical connection to the ground. It's about damn time. This sign says Aiken, but I'm not talking clay. This is either a potential kill streak or an in-map vehicle, but for everyone's sanity, let's hope it's a kill streak. This man is holding a shovel, and now the shovel is holding some brains. Jesus Christ. Yeah, melee weapons are confirmed. We've got anti-air weapons, and that one is definitely not looking like it's a mobile one. Seems like they'll be map dependent, just like me and whether or not I have a good game. Another bad pilot. Seriously, where are you guys finding these pilots? This is a tank in multiplayer. Get ready to rage. The tank also has guns on it, just the way I like my tanks. Both of these hands have the same owner. That means dual wielding pistols is back, baby. And finally, the private beta is available on August 25th, first on PlayStation. I gotta go change my underwear now. 